You will not believe the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle haul I got that we're going to unbox next on the Outsider's Edge. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Outsider's Edge and today we have a huge retro Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle haul. Um, a buddy of mine he was kind of getting rid of some stuff and he reached out to me and asked if I wanted, you know, to first, first dibs basically on this stuff. And definitely I went for it because I've been wanting to, um, start collecting open stock Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And first up, we're going to get this one out of the way because it's not retro, but, uh, this is the four pack of the 35th anniversary comic book series. Um, I want to say... I thought maybe it was a con exclusive, maybe not, but in the back it comes with um, one of the Kevin uh, Kevin Eastman's comic, as well as the original Turtles from the comic book. So that is freaking awesome. I remember when this came out uh, in stores, and it was just a little bit too pricey for my um, for my liking. There's definitely you know when you're a collector, there's other stuff that you have your eyes set on and this one I wanted it but there's other stuff circulating and I didn't go for it but really good deal for this um, he only wanted 15 for it so that was a win for me so all right so this box just has a bunch of just random figures and you might have to help me um, remember what is what first up oh this is neat he didn't mention this so he threw in a mega con constructs constructs however you say that michelangelo that's freaking awesome comes with a bandana you can um i guess swap out but i never knew he was gonna throw this in there it wasn't part of the picture that he he um sent me so that's freaking awesome i'll definitely take that all right, so some of these figures you might have to help me remember the names because it's been so long and I cannot remember certain names of some of these characters. Um, it's funny because Rappin' Mike, I just bought off of him, so I don't know if he forgot. But hey, uh, this one definitely got played with. But, um, you know, it's a pretty cool piece I can put on the shelf somewhere as an extra maybe all right next up we have was this muck man i believe his name was i remember getting this for christmas one year and i was like kind of upset because it wasn't the one i tried to like describe the one i wanted and I guess out of my description, this is what my mom ended up getting me. But that's cool. You know, I had it as a kid. And it's kind of cool to own it again. So, all right. Next up we have, damn, what was his name? Um, I have the Funko of it. And see if you put light through the top of his head. It'll make his eyes glow. You know, the light obviously goes through, but... What was his name? Help me out. I can't remember all this. Okay. Next up we have, I believe, was his name Bullseye? I, I don't think I ever had this one. There's a few that I didn't really care for, but this is really cool. It's actually a really good figure paint still good so that's an awesome awesome piece oh man I, <laughs> I remember this one the kangaroo uh again it wasn't jackal was it this one's also a really good condition i don't see too much uh wear and tear you know a lot of these figures they've definitely been played with through the years and then we have this one here, the Mikey, 
I remember you twist it or wind it up and it definitely doesn't work <laughs> but I think I had every one of those of each turtle I can't remember what all they each of them did maybe there's some more in the box oh man this one was one of my favorite villains that I had uh, just because um, you know they were in the in the uh, arcade and it's one that I used as like one of Shredder's like henchmen that's freaking cool I'm just gonna kind of line them up back there oh yes the one and only Ray Filet can't forget that one now, I know there's different variations of this one honestly I couldn't remember the one I had as a kid but they're all they're all sweet looking so the new um, Ray Filet from the movies definitely looks a lot different I mean a lot of these characters did but you know gotta move on with the times I guess Man, I cannot remember this one. What what was his name, y'all? That was freaking cool. This one's in really good condition, too. Oh, man, this was another favorite. Ooh, this one looks like he was played with a little bit. His leg is, like, hanging Oh, the tail's missing too. We'll have to fix this guy up. I can't. Why? Why can I not remember his name? It should be easy. I have. I have the Funko and some of the other stuff of his. Now, I remember Ninja Turtles was unique for coming out with these, or was known to come out with these unique. Um, different variations and I remember having this one and the Leo and I can't remember what Mikey looked like let's see if I can find uh, I don't see okay here's the Mikey it was a sailor wasn't it didn't this I think this one went with it He's got the fish on the shoulder. <laughs> it's so random. But. These are always notorious for trying to stand. And if they have like weird feet like that, it's just really awkward. All right, next up we have the Samurai Leo. I know Super 7 re recently redid this one. Looks like he's missing all the armor plates on his arms and legs. Definitely got played with. And then we have another one in here that kind of goes with that one. Here it is. It is, again, don't know the name, the panda. But see the plates on the side? That's what uh, Samurai, oh you can't see him, he's not in the picture, but had the same thing, just um, in his own colors. Now this one was one of my favorites. It was the astronaut Ralph. As you know with the theme of my channel, I kind of have a thing for the whole astronaut so definitely glad to have that again really good sticker still on it I'll have to find pieces to um, make it complete that's really goes for a lot of these and then we have wingnut I think I have the wings he has a bunch of accessories I'll have to go through that, but yep, yeah, it looks like the wings to him are in here. And then next up we have 
lifeguard Leo. <laughs> this was part of the um, the line where you put the water in and squeezed, went out their mouth. Um, I don't think I had this one. You could pretty much bet on me having almost every mic, Mikey, but when it comes to some of the others, I cannot tell you. So this must be the one who talked about. Um, obviously Super Shredder from the second movie. He said that um, the person he got this from, their kid used it as a pool toy. <laughs> So, it's been through the ringer. Doesn't have any of the armor whatsoever. Uh, looks like we have some of the, not the original originals, but, you know, it didn't have the soft head, but it's definitely part of that line. Got to get the belt. Ooh, look at that. We got a complete Leo. Like other than probably the other sword again I'll have to look in the bag but this was my very first Ninja Turtle toy was this exact Leo obviously mine had the soft head but that's cool to have to the collection and then we have Mr. ah oh, dang it he's in the comics again. I mean, they made him relevant, but I can't remember his official name. I was gonna say Rukosaki, but that's definitely not it. Got Genghis Frog. I did have this one here. In the new movie, he looks totally different. Oh man, what was his name? Next up we have the bug. What the hell was his name? I'm bad. I've I've gotten old. Can't remember the name. <laughs> He's definitely a uh, a weirdo. Weird looking figure. Ooh, I don't see the I don't see the wings to this one. Or the hat, but like I said, we'll have to um, get some of the accessories to complete it. Got the OG Casey Jones. Man, see, I'm going to have to go. There is a toy store here, or a vintage mall here that has his accessories. Well, it has like the... Um, backpack or the hockey bag I'll have to go pick that up and then oh what was his name I remember this one you put the he had the trash can I think on the back and you put the ooze in and it comes out the front and back was it Mutagen man, mutagen man, blah, blah, blah. can't talk. I always thought it was cool how he had the sewer drain on his foot. Ah, oh, I remember this. I had this one, and I, I remember my mom thought it was hilarious because I'm Hispanic, and she, I think, bought it kind of as a gag but I mean it's a f awesome figure it's like Pancho Villa all right looks like one left this one goes with the rapping mic and it is the rockin Ralph so awesome figures might have to um give them a little dusting I see some <laughs> stuff all over them, but man, look at all that. So I think for everything, including the other, um, the four-pack set that, that was in the box, 
uh, 65 bucks is what he wanted for it. So I thought it was a pretty good steal. I mean, most of these are, are hard to find right now anymore. I mean, they used to go to antique shops all day and you'd find these here and there, but it's really becoming a hard, uh, hard collection to piece together. So, Oh, we had the duck hat. He's got his hat. I see it in the bag. So, all right. That's all I have for this retro Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle haul. Let me know what you think. Which one is your favorite? Which one was your favorite growing up as a kid? Um, that's going to be really hard for me because, I mean, Mikey was my favorite. Um, but let me know what you think. Thank you so much and have a good day.